peace and blessings, man. It's Mark the Messenger. But I got a powerful message, man. When you're chosen, you'll never, ever, ever, you're never going to fit in, man. And you just got to accept that, man. Sometimes you just got to accept that this narrow path is going to be very, you're going to be, you might be alone. You might not have a, a family that you can rely on. You might not have a friend that you can rely on. It just might be you and God. You know, even though you may feel alone in the physical, best believe that the, the, the Holy Spirit resides in you and you got angels all around you, the spiritual realm protecting you, protecting your family, uh, the people you're praying, praying for. So guys, please understand that, man. You got to accept that. And this is why a lot of people, they, they don't want to go into God because they understand, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy. You know, if it was easy, everybody will be doing it. Okay. You, the world's going to hate you. The world's going to turn against you. You know, we know, we know the word that Jesus says that if you were of the world, the world would love its own. Okay. But when you become chosen, guys, no one's going to rock with you no more. Even guys, even in the Bible, Joseph, what, what happened to his brothers and, and his own, uh, his own mom and dad, y'all saw how they treated him. Even Jesus, y'all see how they treat all the people who are chosen, man. So you got to accept this too, because you're not better than the master. Someone says, is this live? Yes, you're watching this live. I'm going to say what's up to the people real quick. What's up, Body of Messiah? Shalom, bro. What's up, Private Christian Channel? What's up, Terry Davis? What's up, Jazard? Thank you for being a member, Jazard. Appreciate you, man. Praise Yah. Shalom, brother. What's up, man? What's up, Shawnee Wayne? What's up, Curtis? What's up, Shane? Yup, yes, I'm saying I'm not lying. Yup. What's up, Tazmok? Peace and blessings to you too, bro. Yup, yup. And you got to understand this too, right? It's not, I'm not even just talking about when it comes to not fitting in with your family, not fitting in with uh, friends or so-called friends or not fitting into this world. You're not going to even fit into these churches, bro. All, all, you're not going to be fitting into none of that. They're going to have an issue with you, just like if they had an issue with Jesus, because you speak truth. Okay, all these churches today, guys, they're compromising the gospel so they could fill up their pockets, so they could fill up their congregation. Okay, but you being a chosen one, you're not going to accept that. You're going to, you're going to speak out against it, and they're not going to like that. They're not going to like that. So you got to understand walking this na narrow road, this narrow path, you got to be ready to give up everything, man. Okay. Every time, and this has happened to me, I've been walking with Jesus for six years. Every time guys, I try to, you know, try to align myself and not just with worldly things, but things that appear as a light people I, I try to build, you know, maybe like a community or maybe they're trying to like establish, like, you know, build something, you know, and I'm all about doing that, you know, growing and helping people. Even you try to be a part of that, it just it just don't work, bro. It just don't work. And you gotta be okay with that. Okay, with, with the path that God has placed you on, you're not gonna be able to fit in. You're not gonna be friends with everybody. People are gonna have an issue with you. You gotta be okay with that. You gotta understand, even the even you know the Pharisees, even the, the teachers of the Bible, okay, the teachers of the law, right? They had an issue with Jesus. How demonic is that? You reading the Bible, you you going over all these scriptures, and yet you're hating on the Son of God. That's crazy. And they, you know, crucified him. Read, read all these scriptures, all these Bible verses. So it's fake, man. It's fake. So you got to really test the spirits. You got to really have discernment out here because a lot of people, they just acting. They just faking the funk. A lot of them are. Okay. And I know, I know a lot of you young brothers too, because, you know, I know how it is in your teenage years and your twenties. Okay. You know, to fit into this world, that's the cool people. And I get it. You know, you're young. You want to fit in. You want to have friends. I'm not saying that you can't have friends, but just understand that not everybody has your best interests at heart. For me, I don't know about y'all, but for me, I don't want to be around someone who's just using me. I don't want to be, be around someone who's just a leech, someone who's always coming to me for something, but I can't come to, for them to something. I don't want to be around that. Okay. I don't want to be around people who are just, because that's what the world does, guys. The world is fake. It's so fake. They're just only around you for the clout that you have, the things that you could give them, what, they, what could they take from you, but they never want to give. So why would you want to be, uh, why would you even want to fit in? I want it. I want it. But people who are fake, they want to fit in. They, they love it. They love in it. They love the world. The more faker you are, the more you're going to love this world. The more real you are, to me being real, all it is is just being righteous. The more righteous and real you are, you just can't, this world, you just can't, you just can't get it. You can't get jiggy with this, man. You can't. You just can't. Okay, the carnal mind is death. Yes, and if any if any man has not the spirit of Christ, he doesn't belong to Christ. A lot of people ain't walking in the spirit, and it shows, man. It shows. You could all, you could see it. Okay, once you once you're able to test people's spirits, once you have the gift of discernment that only comes through the Holy Spirit. Okay, now one thing I learned about this is what God has taught me about spiritual gifts, right? Wisdom, knowledge, discernment, uh, all that, all that stuff, right? It's all levels to it. 
okay? You're gonna be constantly growing in knowledge, constantly growing in wisdom, constantly, constantly growing in uh, discernment. You see, it's leveling up, it's leveling up. The level up is not always physical. It's not always when it comes to material things. You know, a lot of people, when they hear about level up, you know, they may, they may think that, and yes, it can be that. I'm not saying that God can't bless you with that, but you gotta understand too, the level up also could be spiritually, more wiser. Your discernment is on point, it's sharp. Okay, your knowledge is increasing. Okay, um, you're now able to help other people. And we know about spiritual laws. We know about if you help other people, God's gonna help you. When you repay someone that can't repay you, God has to step in and repay you. Okay, that's how it works. When you he, when he help the homeless, when you he help the poor, God gotta repay you. That's in the Bible, that's Proverbs, okay? So we know about spiritual laws. We know how this operates. We know that the more good you do, the more good comes back to you. And we also know about the more evil you do, the more wicked, unrighteous deeds you do, it's gonna come back to you, okay? But people who are carnal, people who are of the natural mind and not spiritual, not able to comprehend that, even though to me it's very simple, you know? But this is why it's so important to have a relationship with Jesus, man. That's the only way you're gonna grow through the Holy Spirit. That's the only way you're gonna really level up, really level up, okay? It's cool to get a nice car. It's cool to get a nice house. That's cool. I'm not saying that's not, but always understand that spiritual things are more important because the things that you see are just temporary. But the things that are unseen are internal. So we should be keeping our eyes and focusing on the things that are, that are internal, things that we can't see. That's why it's so important to be a spiritual man or a spiritual woman, being led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, And you got to understand this too. You having the Holy Spirit, people's demons are just going to be triggered. People's demons are going to be bothered by you. Your, your presence alone is going to irritate them. It's going to bother them. Just the presence. You don't even have to say a word. You, could walk, you ever walk into a room, right? And there's like 10 people in there, five, 10 people, whatever. And you just, you, you just, you can just feel it like the, the tension is there and you haven't even said a word yet. Or maybe you're just dapping people up saying, what's up, what's up? Or you can, you can feel the handshake that the people who got, I'm telling you, bro, you can feel it. You can, the people who got envy and, and hate towards you, you can feel it through the handshake. You can feel it, bro. And you know, a lot of people, they, and see one thing, I, one thing that I do, right? You gotta play dumb. You gotta act like you don't know. You gotta act like you can't see what's really going on. You gotta act like it, even though you know, you know, because we gotta move in wisdom, okay? Not saying that you gotta be, you know, be around these people and, you know, I'm saying that if you see someone stealing from you, right? You know, well, actually, that's probably a bad example. Let's say, let's say this. You see someone who has secret hate, secret jealousy towards you, secret envy towards you. You gotta act like you don't know. Man, you gotta distance yourself from them. You gotta, <laughs> Stay far away. Just like how, you know, when they, that C word that came out, C-O-V, I-D, right? They told us to stay six feet apart uh, from people. Once you, once, you did, once you discern and detect that snake, that devil, that demon, that witch, that warlock, once you detect that, you got to say 600 feet away from them. It's funny how it's six, you know, but I'll just say 700, right? You got to say 700 yards, 700 feet away from them. But, you know, sometimes... You can't because you work together. That's your coworker. Or sometimes you can't because it, it's a family member or, you know, things of that sort. Sometimes, but so, but you, even though you play dumb, you know, and you got to make peace. Remember, the Bible says to make peace with all men. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So you got to make peace. You got to make peace with, even though you have a family member who's, you know, feeling some type of way about you or a so called friend, things of that sort. You got to make peace, guys. You got to make peace without. Peace and holiness, no man shall see the Lord. It's easy to go back and forth. But that's what the carnal people do because they're carnal. They're spiritually dead inside. So they, that's, what they, that's what they feed off of. They feed off of low vibrational things. And remember, to be low vibrational, it just means to be carnal. Okay? And if we got, we got 400 people in the building, we only got 144 likes. I like that number, 144 likes. But if you guys can, get the likes up. Someone said unholy women are weird. I mean, unholy people, you know. I wouldn't say all of them, but I, I know what you're trying to say. Uh, someone said, talk about Delilah. What about Delilah? Uh, Delilah, Delilah was, a, was a daughter of Satan. That's, that's what Delilah was. You know, she, just like how Judas turned in, uh, turned in his love for his brother for money, Delilah, Delilah did the same thing. There's a lot of Delilahs out here. There's a lot of Judases out here. You know, it is what it is. You know, people ask, talk, ask me to talk about Delilah a lot. It's a spirit that works through people, guys. It works through people. And it's, it's to take you out for money so they could get a gain off of it. And that spirit, that Je even the Jezebel spirit, the Delilah spirit, it works through men too. Spirits don't care what gender you, you are. It's, all, it's all, all about, you know, if you're, if you're a man and you, 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 you act, acting like a Jezebel, right, a Jezebel woman, you could possess that same spirit too.
Uh, Mark, it's been two months on this walk. What should I expect? Uh, you could expect spiritual warfare. You could expect family and friends turning against you, lying and slandering against you. Uh, you could expect you leveling up. You could expect God blessing you by you keeping the commandments of God, by you keeping the faith in Jesus Christ. You could expect that. Uh, you could expect trials and tribulations. You know, it's not always going to be up. You know, I could, I could tell you that, but that's not the case. It's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be times when you're happy. There's going to be times when you're sad. Um, so, yeah, you just got to expect that, man. You got to expect that. You, this, like I said, like I said when I started this video, the walk is not easy, but there's a reward at the end. Let no man take your crown. Let no man take your crown. People are going to try to take your crown. People are going to try to take your salvation, you know, that comes through Jesus Christ. That's what they're going to try to do, man. That's what they're going to try to do. Demons and devils. That's what they are, man, spiritually. Okay? Mark, an energy vampire looked deep into my eyes and tried to take my energy. What the heck? His face tormented and his eye bags started to sag suddenly, but his mission failed. Was that a dream that you had, bro? Oh, what's his name? So that S S N Y A. An energy vampire in real life or like a dream? Um, but always keep this in mind, guys. When you got the Holy Spirit, you're protected. You know, people ask me about the Second Amendment and stuff like that. I'm not against it. If you want to have a gun, hey, it's your, it's your, it's your right here in America, or at least in some states. Personally, me, uh, I got the Holy Spirit. I got the angels around me. They protect me. Now, I'm not against having, having a gun, though. But um, if, if you're doing the right, you're not living in sin. You're not being rebellious. You're not being disobedient to God, keeping his commandments, keeping the faith in Jesus. You got nothing to worry about. You got nothing to worry. We got to understand God's the control of the dark and the light. So that means that God is the control of the, these evil entities, these demons and devils. And let them do what they do. Because you got to understand the demons and devils, they're actually used to level you up. Y'all know what happened to Jesus? Judas being a devil, he was just used to level him up. He was just used. Okay? Many people on this wall, guys, someone said, what could I expect in this, in this two, two months? I'm glad you asked that question. Ooh, it just came to my mind. There's going to be someone you're going to be best friends with. Y'all talk every day. Y'all hang out every day. Y'all chill every day, right? Things of that sort. And you will, the, the people you never expect... The people you never expect, they're going to turn on you, okay? I'm pretty sure Jesus never expected Peter to do what he did, you know? Remember, Jesus had to rebuke Peter multiple times. I'm pretty sure Jesus didn't expect that. But some people are weak. Some people allow Satan in, okay? Some people, are, some people, and now just because someone is weak, just because someone allows Satan in, that don't make them an evil person. They're just weak, okay? And, you know, this is the people we got, you know, not just them, but you got to be praying for these people. You know, it's a battle, guys. You got to be having, you got to be walking in wisdom. The Holy Spirit is always speaking to us, man. The Holy Spirit is always speaking to us things that's going to come, things that you're doing wrong, and also things that you're doing right. Okay? You got you to keep on, keep on doing the right thing, man. Keep on hearkening to the voice of wisdom, the voice of the Holy Spirit. Keep on doing that. Okay? I'm a humble man in God, but it is to be bad to be hyper competitive. I've always been that way in sports and activities, not in the SWAC, but anything I do to try to make best your thoughts. Um, yeah, I, I feel that way. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being competitive if you're a sports, like an athlete. But I see what, I see what you're saying. We're living in the end times. Too much evil out here. Yeah, man. But, you know, even though there is evil all around us, I don't, we, we, don't, we, we don't focus on that. The Bible doesn't want us to focus on the evil. We got to focus on the good. Focus on meditating on his word. Focusing on it. It's, it's easy to, because when you go on social media, right? Or when you go to the world, you're just you're seeing lust, you're seeing all the, the deadly sins being promoted. So it's easy to get distracted and all that. But man, I don't think that's what God wants us to do, to be focusing on that all the time. It's good to be aware of it. It's good to expose the evil. You know, it's good, you know, it's good to do that, but I'm not thinking about that all the time, guys. I know I'd be talking about spiritual warfare in my videos or exposing these demons and devils, but I'm not thinking about them, man. I ain't thinking about that. Okay, I'm focusing on how I could be better. I'm, I'm, I'm self-reflecting. I'm examining myself, examining my fruits. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? How could I be a better servant of Christ? How could I, you know, God, help me to be more humble. You know, help me to be a better servant of you. What can I do that could be better, that could, that could, you know, be better for the kingdom of God? What could I do that could be better? What am I doing that's doing wrong? I'm focused on my, I'm, I'm focused on building my, working on my own salvation. I'm not focusing on these devils and these demons. I'm not focusing on that, man. That's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to focus on the kingdom of darkness, man. For what? What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Now, there are people who are in there. Like I said, guys, it's good to be aware of what's taking place. I'm not saying that, but, you know, I'm not focused. Don't, don't be focused on the evil. You know, it's, it's crazy, too, because that's what people love to hear. 
And I get it. Like I said, guys, it, I, I, when I first uh, started following Jesus, man, I, I was learning about spiritual warfare. I was learning how these demons operate, how they get down. And that's good to do. But I'm not just going to be stuck there. I'm not going to be stuck doing that, you know? So, yeah. What's up, uh, Daisy? I thought you were a member. Daisy, let me make you a member. She's been an OG to the channel, man. Daisy's been here since like four years. Fruits of the Spirit, struggling with my flesh, fighting daily. Yeah. Someone says, is this a live stream? Yeah, this, this is a live stream. Taz Mike, I thought you were a moderator. All right, made you a mod. If, you, if you've been on the chat for a while, guys, I'm going to make you a moderator. If I, if I see you on the chat for a long time, I'll make you a mod. Someone said to stop spamming. It's kind of hard to look at the chat while I'm preaching, but I'm going to try. Uh, Mark, our S you've been spamming, Brandon, but yeah, I'm going to read this. Mark, our essence sticks witchcraft. I threw away my crystals and sage because he said they were, but I'm not sure about essence. I don't let me know what that is. What is essence six? Uh, but just the fact that you were playing with crystals and sage, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it is witchcraft. <laughs> just going to be honest with you. I don't know what essence sticks are, so I don't know. Uh, but just the fact that you had crystals and sage, I'm pretty sure that the es essence sticks or whatever, I'm pretty sure that's probably linked to it too. I don't know though. I, I don't even know what essence sticks is. What happens if the grid goes down? Uh, I'm going to rejoice. When the grid goes down, it's gonna be, I'm going to be full of joy, guys. I'm going to be full of joy. Um, you know, a lot of people, they push that grid going down. And, you know, I push it too because it's going to happen. But I'm, and I also let you guys know, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to rejoice. Okay, there's going to be no social media. People are going to have to actually live in the real world. People are going to actually be, have to live in reality. Yes, I'm happy. Shut the grid down. Turn it off. Bill Gates, turn it off. <laughs> Who's in front of the show? The J, the J people, right? <laughs> turn it off. And it's crazy too, because when it actually comes down, guys, people are gonna think it's, it's by, like it's just, it just happened. But it was planned, guys. They've been planning it. Y'all see with this, these cell phones going down and things of that sort. What's happening in the East Coast, uh, that hurricane? Um, what's that hurricane called, guys? What's that hurricane going on the East Coast? I honestly forgot the name. Uh, but there's, there's, uh, I see it was happening in Florida, in Georgia. I saw a war in Florida. There was like an alligator swimming in the pond. That's bad, man. Yeah, Helene, there you go, Helene. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, in my opinion, guys, I believe that they could control the weather. So I think all these hurricanes that you're seeing, um, what's that word called again? There's a word called for it. Um, heart, there you go, heart. Heart, yep. Now, that's my opinion. I could be wrong or I could be right. But I believe that's weather control, guys. They can control the weather. All right. Um, they got chemtrails being sprayed. Um, yep. But you got to understand this, too. You know, the people who are doing this, God allows them to do it. When, when a nation is, is given over to sin, right? When, when a nation is given over to a wicked ruler, you got to expect this. You got to expect this, man. You got to expect You got to expect the world to get worse and worse. It's only going to get better, guys, when God sends his son, Jesus, to bring fire and brimstone. That's only when it's going to start getting better, when he starts judging. But until then, guys, expect it to get worse. But even though I know it's going to get worse, I'm not focusing on that. Because I can't control that. We can't control when the grid shuts down, right? We can't control when they control the weather and they're putting all these devices down. Y'all saw what they did in Hawaii, too, in Maui. I was there two weeks after that happened, guys. That was all weather. Con that, they control that. I was talking to the locals out there. They even agreed with me to about 80%. The Uber drivers, people, people I was talking about, they know, they know that what, what they were doing in Hawaii. Maui's gonna be turned into a smart city, particularly Liana. Okay, that's gonna be turned into an AI 15 minute uh, smart city. This is all part of the plan, guys. All part of the plan of these evil entities. It's the reason why, guys, all the billionaires live there. Oprah, Bill Gates, or not Bill Gates, Oprah, um, the Tesla dude, Elon Musk, um, Peter Thiel, whatever his name is. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. list goes on. It's the reason why they live there. Okay. Now, they think that's going to be the safe haven. Now, Hawaii is, 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 is paradise. It's beautiful out there. But uh, you, can't, you can't escape the judgment of God. You know, no matter how much bunkers they're building. And see, they're preparing, they're, they're preparing for the evil to come. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't prepare, but you should be preparing spiritually. We can't control what's going to happen, guys. Living in fear all day, bro. Live your life, man. Live your life. When I'm saying live your life, I'm not talking about living your life in sin, but I'm talking about be happy, bro. I can't control when, when these, we, we can't control when these things happen. So don't even focus on that. 
But it is good to be aware that knowing what's going to come. It's good to be aware of knowing what's to come, man. Oh, that judgment is coming. Yup. Someone said, stop idolizing Mark. No one should be idolizing me. No one should be idolizing me, man. I'm just a vessel being used by God, man. The world is trash. Yup. It's definitely trash. Don't forget about CERN or the Hydron caller under the colleges here in the States. Yeah, I made a video about CERN a couple years ago. I keep falling into sin. How do I come out? Uh, just repent, man. Everybody has fallen into sin before. You know, the solution is to repent. Um, the only way you're going to be able to break free from certain strongholds, for certain demonic spirits, is by surrendering to Jesus, guys. And sometimes, guys, God will allow the seven spirits, when you go back into your old ways, right? The Bible talks about this in Matthew, where seven spirits, seven demons come back to you and torment you, and you're worse than you were the first time. God allows it to happen so people could repent. But some people, I know some guy, guys, he, he was, he helped me out before I gave my life to Jesus, right? He helped me out a lot. And, you know, I was able to give up, I was able to give up my sins that I was struggling with at the time. And he kept going back. He was doing good and he kept going back. And I see those seven spirits. I see it, bro. And this happened many times. He was delivered and those seven spirits come back again. And he's worse than he was the first day. Y'all don't want to fall into that, man. When you, see so, when you see someone else's downfall, guys, it should be a testimony. It should, it should be something that you could learn from so that don't happen to you. But a lot of people like to rejoice. When, when another man falls down, when he falls short, they like to be happy and rejoice. When my enemies fall, guys, I don't rejoice. I ain't happy. I feel bad, bro. I feel bad for them. You know? And just as Jesus told us to do, we got, we got to pray for them who are your enemies. Uh, love them who hate you. I know that's not easy to do. You know, it's not easy to forgive somebody. But that's what we're called to do, man. I want God to forgive me for my sins, so I'm going to forgive the next brother, or I'm going to forgive the next sister. So it's not easy to do, but it is what it is. And it, also, you not fitting it in, too, sticking with the title of the message. This is how you could tell. When you're the black sheep of your family, guys, I, I know it's a lot of people who are chosen, especially about people in my friend group. They're usually the black sheep of the family. They're usually the, one, the, the underdogs. But that's who God's the closest to, guys. That's who God is closest to, those who are underdogs. Look at David. I'm pretty sure, guys, before David fought Goliath, I'm pretty sure, bro, they were telling him that, oh, Dave, you're going to fight Goliath? You don't stand a chance. They were putting seeds of doubt in him. They were telling him, there's no way you're going to take down a Goliath. And this is what people are going to do to you. This is what people are going to do to you, guys. They're going to try to tell you, there's no way you could do this. Ain't no way you could do that. Planting seeds of doubt, planting seeds of fear, planting seeds of confusion. You know, but that's where your faith got to override all of it. Your faith got to destroy all the naysayers, okay? And God used David as an example. God is always with the underdog. When everybody is hating on you guys, when everybody is turning against you, that usually means that God is the closest one to the person where the person that everybody is turning against. It usually means, man, it's usually what it is, okay? So the person who is, who is praised and exalted by the world, okay, that's an abomination to God, man. So, what do you, so what's the opposite? When people hate on everybody, when someone's hate on someone for no reason, when someone's putting up smear campaigns and all this type of stuff, what does that mean to that person who's, who's, who's enduring that? Okay? So, but it's easy to fall into it, to the sheeple mindset, to the herd mindset. When you see everybody else doing something, then everybody else just joins along with it. It's easy to fall into that sheep, that herd mindset. But don't do that, man. Don't do that. If you've been delivered from drugs, he says, don't build back what you destroyed. Yeah, I mean, that could go for not just drugs, but I see what you're saying. Uh, I mean, look, look at an example, guys, for Lot. Look what happens when he turned back. It never ends well. Not, gonna say, not saying they're going to be turned into a pillar of salt, but it's just not going to end well when you turn back. And always remember this, too, when you turn back, God, warning always comes before destruction. Warning always comes before destruction. Before God, before you get destroyed, God's going to warn you, Okay. Mark, can you rebuke demons? I feel like there's demons inside of me. Um, the only way you can rebuke a demon is if you have the Holy Spirit residing in you. Okay, the book of Acts talks about uh, people trying to rebuke a demon, and the demon uh, left them naked and wounded. Okay, I made a video about this on that, uh, that lady, uh, what's her name? Sa Sandra. What's that lady's name, guys, who, 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 got, who um, lost her life to that cop, that evil cop, that NPC? Uh, Sonia... I forgot her name, honestly, but she tried to rebuke that cop. Now, I don't know her. I don't know her personally, obviously, but I know that you can't rebuke. Um, that cop had a demon in him. I saw the video. Stone and Master, there you go. That cop had a, had a uh, de demon. I say with S. 
he had many demons on him. You could just tell, you could just tell by his demeanor. You could, I could just discern that, right? And, you know, she tried to rebuke the demon and guess what happened? Like the, the cop shot her. Okay, so you could only, you, you only have power against these demons, guys, when you're truly walking in the Holy Spirit. A lot of people are just religious, bro. A lot of people have a religious spirit and they confuse it as the Holy Spirit. Okay, a lot of these religious spirits, they hate their own brother. Okay, which makes them a murderer at heart. Okay, um, they, they, all these scriptures that they quote, but they got no love in their heart. Okay, um, they, they, the Bible says that they shut the kingdom of God so other people can enter in. Okay, so you got, like I said, guys, even when it comes to fitting in, it's not only going to be with your friends and family. You're not going to fit into these churches, bro. This is why they got an issue with me. And some of y'all can relate to this too. You try, you, you try to be, you try to be a part of a community. You try to be a part of a church and things of that sort. You know, you wanted to, you wanted to have fellowship with the brother and sister. This happened to me, bro. I try, I try to go to the Bible studies. I tried, bro. I tried, man. They just got a problem with me. They got an issue. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. This religious system, guys, is linked to Satan's kingdom, bro. All these man-made religions y'all see out here, y'all know because I talk about this in my videos. Okay, it's all linked to Satan's kingdom. This is a deceptive world. Remember, the Bible says that Satan deceives the entire earth. Okay, so you got to ask yourself, are you being deceived? Satan deceives the entire earth, man. So how, how is he going to de deceive the entire earth? He's going to use religion. Okay, I think that's one of his main targets in these last days, guys. He's using, he's going to use religion. So uh, not to say that you can't find a church that you can be a part of or like a community, uh, but it's just rare. It's rare to find that. And if you do find that, if you do, if you do have family that love you or friends that really have genuine love for you, uh, you got to keep those people close. Because in these end days, guys, those people are going to be rare. Those people are going to be rare. And when the grid shuts down, guys, the most important thing is going to be your family and your friends, the people that, you know, the, the, the small circle that, you know, God bless you with that you could count on, rely on if y'all need water, food, things of that sort. The Bible says you're not even supposed to worry about how you're going to eat, what clothes you're going to wear, or what you're going to drink. Because God is, is going to feed you all. He feeds the birds of the, of the earth, right? All the birds in the sky, they don't have a refrigerator to put their food at. They don't got a refrigerator to put their soda or their, their drinks. I don't drink soda. I don't know why I just said soda. But they don't got something to put their water at, right? But God still provides them. God still feeds them. So why would you worry about how you're going to eat, what clothes you're going to wear? Or how you get a drink, you know? So, I, so to me, that make no sense. Make no sense. Someone says my family are Jehovah Witnesses, so I'm doomed. Um, I wouldn't say that, man. You never know. They they may come out of that. They may come out of that, man. So just have hope, hope for them, and you know, most importantly, pray for them too. Uh, people still have friends. Hey, man. So, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with a friend, but I see what you're saying. Uh, who, who said that? Ladine Mary said that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, LPS says, Yah showed me and my husband at a mega church our girls was taken. Yah got our girls back in the state that loves to adopt children out of Colorado Springs New Life Mega Church. Um, I'm kind of confused on what that meant, LPS. Yah showed me and my husband at a mega church our girls was taken. I'm confused what that means. Um, someone says, When do you think the rapture is coming? Uh, there's going to be no rapture. People still believe in the rapture? People still believe in that? You know, I used to believe in that. I used to believe in the rapture and we're gonna fly into the sky and we don't have to endure temptations. We don't have to, you know, the Bible says through much tribulations, we shall enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus says that um, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. So um, all these religious doctrines, these man-made religion doctrines, guys, it's not true. There is no, there is no rapture, guys. There is no, pre that's confusion, pre-tribulation. Mid tribulation, post tribulation. That's confusion, guys. That's not of the most high. Now, if you want to believe in the rapture, that's on you. But uh, I'm here to tell you guys there's going to be no rapture. You're going to see all, all you people who are of the righteous seed of the chosen ones, you're going to see when God sends his son Jesus to bring fire and brimstone, and you're going to see the wicked be destroyed. You're going to see it. Just like how, how David saw the wicked being destroyed, he waited on the Lord, and you know, the, the, the humble shall inherit the earth. You're going to all see it. God willing, we're still here to see it, you know, because I don't know when Jesus is coming back. But um, let's say if he does come back in our lifetime, guys, we're all going to see. There's going to be no no rapture, guys. There's going to be none of that. Please talk about getting high mark, please. What do you mean, Christine? Please talk about getting high mark. You mean like getting high like a, off a drug? Um, you don't want to do that because that could open portals into your vessel for spirits to come in, 
So if you're talking about getting high off of drugs, any drug, people ask me this too, because I talked about this recently and I was mostly talking about weed, but this also applies to cigarettes. It applies for vaping, uh, all that. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, so we're not supposed to defile with, with that. Now I know if people are you know struggling and stuff like that, I would just advise you to start getting some fasting and some prayer, and most importantly, get, a, get away from those people who are doing that, living that lifestyle. Because if you're around someone who's doing that every single day, you're gonna fall into doing it every single day. So, um, and that's why guys, the narrow path is lonely because most people of this world, guys, they're a slave to, they're a slave to sin. They're a slave to it. Stay away from drugs, even soda. Yeah, soda's filled with sugar. Sugar is a drug, you know? So uh, yeah, someone says, Mark, do, you, do I believe in being baptized? Of course I do. I talk about, I made a video about getting baptized. You should definitely get baptized. I started to smoke cigarettes and I stopped. Thank the Lord. That's what's up, man. Yeah, smoking definitely does destroy your lung, your lungs. Someone said day three, no weed. That's what's up. Uh, I can't get with someone who is divorced, correct? Yeah, if uh, the Bible says if a woman um, is bound to her husband as long as he lives. Now, unless unless that the um, her husband is uh, is no longer living, then that's different. But yeah. A woman's married to another, uh, so married to another man. Uh, the, it's crazy because I see, you know, pastors in churches, they, they talk about, oh, you know, a woman can have as many husbands, her, hus her ex-husband is still alive, I want to get another husband. That's crazy to me. Read the book of Romans, guys. The book of Romans talks about that all. Let God be true and every man a liar. Now, I'm not going to go back and forth and, you know, if someone wants to believe something, I'll let them believe it, you know? Now, we got, guys, we got 600 people in here and we only got 400 likes. Can we match it? I know there's going to be some monitoring spirits watching. That's cool. But for those who are not monitoring spirits, for those who have love for your boy, your brother, get that like button up. Get it up. Get it up. I came here a little bit late. I wanted to do a two-hour live, guys. I wanted to do two hours. But I came here late. It was, it was like 100 degrees earlier, so I waited for it to cool down. And, and yeah. Yeah, let's get the likes matching facts. Um, hey, Mark, if the elite shut down the grid, would it be permanent or temporarily? I think it'd be temporarily. I think it'd be like, like you know what happened with the lockdowns, how that was temporary? They're going to find, they always come up with a problem and they, they come up with a solution. And the solution is actually worse than the problem itself. So it's like when, when the C word came out, they gave you all a solution, which that was the worst than the actual, you know, kind of speaking code because you know how it is out here. But, you know, to sp you know, back to the title of the video, guys, I want to really elaborate on this, man, because I know there's a lot of, because a lot of people who watch me are young. I know how it is. You want to fit in with people. You, you want to be down with certain cliques, certain groups. I'm telling you, bro, it's only just a waste. It's a waste of time. Waste of time, man. And those same people you, you, you chill with, that you party with, that you turn up with, that you talk to the phone with all the time, guys, the same people like those people, when you, when you give your life to Christ, they're going to be used to turn against you, man. I'm telling you, bro. They're going to be used in the spiritual warfare against your life. The same people you talk, oh, I love you, bro. I love you, bro, right? You dapping them up. Oh, you my dog. You my dog, right? The minute you give your life to Jesus, bro, you, or the minute you surrender, maybe you already gave your life to Jesus and maybe you fell back. Maybe you, you know, fell short, things of that sort, right? But the minute you give your life to Jesus again, guys, those same people are going to be used against you. You no longer want to smoke. You no longer want to drink. You no longer want to party. You don't want to live like a secular, a secular lifestyle. Those same people are going to be trying to force you back into it. And they're just going to be used. But you can't blame them because you opened the door. You can't blame them. You opened the door to them to being friends with you. For, them, for you allowing them in your life. Okay, even the Bible says to guard your heart. For out of all of it are the issues of life. So, you know, don't be so quick to, to love somebody. Don't be so quick to, to you know... Give your trust to somebody, man, because these same people, it can hurt so much. The more love you have to somebody and they, and they betray you, it can hurt so much. Now it's different if somebody betrays you or y'all weren't y'all were really close like that. So it's just whatever. But if you have someone that you really love with, somebody you call a brother, somebody y'all are hanging out with all the time, you know, things of that sort, that hurts, man. That hurts. You know, somebody who you broke bread with, somebody who you helped, they were on the verge of losing everything and you helped them get back up and they betray you. It's like, dude. Crazy. Hey, Mark, how do you not feel lonely when you're alone? I just remember that God's with me. You know, so we're never truly alone. Maybe in the physical, in the physical realm, we're, we may be alone. But personally, me, I, I have a wife, I have children, so 
but I, I know that you, you, you don't have that. I don't, I don't know if you do or not, but I'm just assuming that you don't. And that, just three years ago, I wasn't married. You know, so I remember, I still remember living by myself and man, it felt lonely, bro. Felt so alone. But hey, God blessed me with a family, so all praise the most high for that. And um, yeah, I know. It, I, mean, I still remember those days, bro. I was suffering, suffering for righteousness sake, man. I could have easily been like, dude, screw this. This narrow path stuff, this righteous stuff, man, this ain't for me. I'm going back. I could have easily did that, man. But nah, man, if you really love God, guys, there's no turning back. If you, like I said, guys, the more real you are, you, you, can't, you can't even turn back if you wanted to, bro. It's just this world's too fake. You can't get down with that. Opportunists, users, all that, man. Someone said, do, do you only drink water? Now, I drink a lot of electrolytes. I've been drinking a lot of, a lot of electrolytes lately. Uh, Freemasons have been afflicted with my job for a decade, and I had no idea. I just started working there and quit not long ago. If you, one of my friends who are co workers want me back there, what do I do? Uh, depends what you do for work. Like, if you're like a truck driver and you have Freemasons at your job, it doesn't really matter because you're, you're going to be in the truck most of the times. I mean, guys, there's Freemasons all around us. When you go to the store, uh, I remember I went, to, I went to my banker a couple of months ago. Dude had a Freemason ring on. So, hey, they're all around us, man. Uh, remember I went to, you know, I would see people with the chains on, the Freemason chains, um, the ring, all that type of stuff. Personally, that stuff is just weird, bro. That's all. That's, that's another part of Satan's kingdom too. Glad someone brought that up. The Freemason stuff, the Illuminati, that's all Satan's kingdom. All Satan's kingdom, man. That's all darkness. Is it wrong to drink juice? No, it's not wrong to drink juice. Uh, should I praise Jesus or God? Uh, the Bible says Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are one. So, yep. Can we drink wine as Christians? Yeah, you could drink wine as a Christian. You just can't get drunk off of wine or alcohol in general. The world is temporarily. Uh, what brand of electrolytes? Um, oh, I, should, I wish I could call my wife. My wife is always getting that. Um, oh, what's the brand called? Top of my head. IV. Something IV. Something IV. A liquid IV. There you go. Wow, I almost forgot that. Li liquid IV. You can get that at Costco. I ain't getting paid to promote that. So, but yeah, liquid IV. I like that one because it doesn't have a color dye in it. Uh, why don't you use a Messiah's true name, Yahshua? Because um, Yahshua and Jesus, they mean the same thing. It's just different languages. And if you read the Bible in the end, it talks about Jesus is going to receive a new name that no man will know. So when people want to argue with me with, oh, Mark, use the name Yahshua. And when I do use the name Yahshua, oh, Mark, his real name is Jesus. It's just co confusion. Okay, religious spirits, like, why do y'all get mad because I say Jesus? Or why do y'all get mad if I do use, use this Hebrew name Yahshua? You, th you really think if I'm praying or if I get baptized in Jesus' name that it's, 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 doesn't, it's not going to be valid because I'm using his English name? It makes no sense. But religious spirits, guys, they just, that's what they do, man. That's what they do. So it doesn't matter if you say the name, G if you say Jesus' name or if you say Yahshua's name. They hold the same weight. I had so many spiritual warfare experiences in, in my life. And I said the name Jesus and the demons, the demons flee. So no one can say there's no power in the name of Jesus. And I'm not saying there's no power. There's power in the name of Yahshua. But religious spirits is all about debate. It's all about doctrine. Dude, get a life, man. Get a life. I'm not, I'm not going back and forth. I had so many people, guys, literally for years on out. Okay. Um, they don't like that I say the name of Jesus. Listen, like I just tell people, get a life, get a life, get a life, man. Mark, how did I find my purpose? I, I, I seek God's kingdom daily and His righteousness, and, my, and, my, and God showed me my purpose. I didn't, I didn't want to be a preacher. I didn't ask to do this. This is what religious people don't like of me because they think that I'm just that I'm boasting to myself to be some preacher or something like that, bro. I didn't want to. Be, I don't want to do this, bro. I didn't. I didn't want to do this, but this is what God called me to do. And whenever I try, or whenever I tried in the past, not trying to do what I do, bad things will happen. And God will allow those bad things to happen because this is what He called me to do. God always uses the people who you never expect to do His will, to do His work. He always uses the people you never expect. I just brought up David. No one expected David to do what he did to Goliath. Okay. No one expected Job to endure the attacks of Satan, even though that was God. You know, God allowed it to happen. So, yeah. Marge, you read the book of Apocrypha? Yes, I do. That's a great book. Uh, someone says, I'm either looking to get drunk or to get high. So, Mark, dude, 
please can you pray for me yeah okay i got you susan everyone should be praying for the sister susan she, you know it happens so i won't judge you how are you doing i'm doing great man doing great uh mark what do you think about the diddy situation um hey you know diddy was diddy was serving satan's kingdom and he tried to go against the deal that he made with the devil. He, he, he um, was suing Ciroc for, I think, 200 mil or something like that. He went against his, his deal, and they exposed him for it. So what, what you're seeing now is happening. He, he, a lot of people don't know this. You know, All this like, baby oil and all this type of stuff, guys, no Diddy and stuff. Understand, guys, the reason why this is happening is because he, he, he broke the deal that he made with Satan. He, he, remember, y'all remember him always promoting Ciroc? You know, and I don't, I don't follow the secular world, but I always, I always saw him with the Ciroc bottle, right? Diddy, it was Diddy, Diddy, DJ Khaled, and and a few other artists. Yeah, and he sued, he sued Ciroc, and a couple months later, now he's getting exposed. So, uh, all these Hollywood elites, all these A-class celebrities, that's what they do. It's just that Diddy got exposed because he, he went against a deal that he made with the devil. All, all these A-class celebrities, they all do what Diddy does. They all, they all do weird stuff behind the scenes. That's how you stay relevant. They go through humiliation rituals. Diddy, people are saying Diddy's going to be broke. And, dude, Diddy's going to be, he's going to be okay, guys. He's a billionaire. You know, people, give it a couple years, guys. People are going to forget it to happen. And they're going to be, be bumping his music, drinking his bottle, drinking his Ciroc bottle, <laughs> drinking his Ciroc bottles, him making music again, guys. He's just going to do some other humiliation ritual. And he'll be back on top because it's Satan's world. Okay, so um, yeah, I don't count on him to be in prison for the rest of his life. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it, man. Uh, I'm 28 and I want to have a wife and a family. I have no friends. What am I doing wrong, Mark? Uh, maybe you're not ready to have a wife. Maybe you're not ready to start a family. You know, I didn't get married until I was 28, 27 or 28. 28. I think it was 28. So. When I was 25, 26, I wasn't ready to have a wife, even though I wanted one, but I wasn't ready to provide and all that, especially have children. I definitely wasn't ready for that. So um, maybe you're just not ready for it. And that's okay. As you, as you prepare to get a wife and a family, you build yourself up in the meantime so you could attract that. You know, uh, see more attention, hit the gym, uh, seeking wisdom, get into your word, meditate on the scriptures, you know, things of that sort to build yourself up. And uh, yeah. Mark, do I be on Instagram? Uh, not really as much. I have one, but I don't really be on it like that. Uh, yo, Mark, thanks for the advice. I just want to encourage you to keep up with the faith and happy Sabbath and keep doing what you're doing. People like you and other Christians have helped me. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate you, man. Can you pray for me? Yeah, all, all the people praying, just leave in the comment section, guys. I see Susan, so I'll, I'll, I'll remember Susan. If you guys have any, any prayers, you can leave in the comment section or you can hit me up on Instagram, DM, uh, Mark the Messenger. And uh, I get so many messages on there. So I might, not re I might not open it or reply back, but I've seen it. I I'll see it. For sure, for sure, I'll see it. So yeah, I, I, what I like to do is I like to write on a piece of paper all the names and just, you know, pray for those who need, man. Because I, I, I know right now I'm in a season where I'm spiritually strong, I'm spiritually elevated, but I know there's seasons for everything. There might be a season coming up where I may be weak. You know, but always remember the Bible. There's a, and when you're weak too, you, you want to make sure that you're meditating on the Word of God. The Bible says, even though you're weak, that you're strong. Someone leave that verse in the Corinthians, if you guys can. Someone leave that verse um, for me in the comment section. Paul said it. He says that though I be weak, that I'm strong, or, or something like that. Infirmities, I forgot that verse, but it's somewhere in Corinthians. Uh, did you meet your wife at the church? Nah, definitely not. <laughs> I tried it. I tried that. <laughs> I, I tried that. I don't. I mean, for me, it didn't work. Maybe for some other people, it worked, but nah, definitely not. Pray for me, Mark. All right, got you, Bonita. Thank you, Mark, for all you do. I appreciate you and help me grow closer to God. Thank you so much, Susan. Uh, why do God let our enemies see us suffer and feel like an outcast? Um, well, there's a Bible verse, and I believe in the book of Deuteronomy, it talks about how uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're rebellious or disobedient to God's commandments, that God will allow your enemies to rule over you. So uh, you being disobedient, you live in a willful sin, God will allow your enemies to, to do that. You know. Uh, now also, 
if you're doing the opposite, if you're being obedient, and if you're you know serving God in, in spirit and truth, and being a humble servant, doing what you got to do, right, not living in sin and all that, right? God will um, God will destroy your enemies. They'll come at you seven ways, and, and, and He will destroy them, and, and He will allow you to see it too. So it goes both ways. Thank you so much, Daisy. Two Corinthians chapter twelve, verse ten. Yep, there you go. It says, for the sake of Christ, then I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, I, then I am strong. Absolutely. There you go. Yes, I love that verse. So all you people who are weak spiritually, read that verse. Read that verse. That verse is a verse that I, I use to meditate a lot when I'm going through that season, when I'm going through it. Listen, guys, everybody goes through it. Anybody who says they don't, they're liars. The Bible says if a man says he's without sin, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. So we're all battling, we're all battling the flesh, but you know, we understand that us as a body, we're all uplifting each other in prayer. And we understand that, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a battle out here, man. The battle is real. Have the full armor of God on so we can fight against these principalities, the spiritual wickedness in high places who are coming at you full force. Sunset in the background is amazing. Yeah, it looks nice, man. Looks so much nicer in person. This camera doesn't do justice. It looks so bright in my camera, but it's not even bright at all. It looks nice. Definitely looks nice. Someone said, happy Sabbath day. Yep, happy Sabbath day to you too, man. You are elevating tremendously. Thank you so much. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yep, yep. Uh, Mark, can I eat a lot to get muscle gains? Yeah, absolutely. If you're if you're overeating to get to get bigger, as in to get muscle gains, to bulk, there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is a lot of people who overeat, they're not doing it for that purpose. They're just doing it to, you know, gluttony. Uh, where are you? It's pitch black dark here. I'm in California right now. I use the name of Jesus and de demons definitely flee. Yeah, man. I don't know why people get so triggered when I say Jesus. It's like, dude, get a life. That's all I can think of. Just get a life, man. People will be weird, man. They'd be weird. Mark, is there any insight you could give me? I feel like I'm giving myself to a Jezebel who's promising false change in faith. Could you give me some insight? I'm not a bot. Um, if you feel like you're giving yourself to a Jezebel, then you, you should know the answer to that. You should, you know, get away from that person. Yeah, get, get away from that person. That's what I would do. If there's a Jezebel in your life, the thing is a lot of men today, guys, when, they ha when you have a soul tie with someone, even though you know that person's a user, you know that person's just no good, you just want to hold on to that person. Let that person go, bro. You're only holding yourself back by holding on to these, these people, these spirits. So if I know someone's a Jezebel, peace. Peace. Oh, from San Jose, okay, what's up? What's up? Shalom, bro. But anyways, guys, I'm starving. I haven't really ate anything today. I'm about to get some white. Uh, I'm about to get some white. I'm about to get some pizza for my family. And uh, yeah, don't be unequally yoked. Yes, absolutely. To that brother wanted some advice, do not be unequally yoked. So if you feel someone's changing from the faith, then you change from them. You, you, get, you get rid of them. So Mark, can you close in prayer in the chat? I'll, I'll, I like to pray in my prayer closet. I don't like to pray openly. Um, I like to just pray in private. That's what I like to do. Now, some people like to pray openly. Hey, that's on them. But I'll definitely, guys, let me know in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram, okay? If you guys made this far too, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Share it on all platforms. It looks like I'm super blurry right now because it's, it's super dark around me. I'm so surprised. It's so bright on the phone. That's crazy. That's crazy. But I love you guys so much. I'm out. God bless you all. Peace.